everyone. My name is Alex. Today I'm going to introduce you to our very simple uh, desktop application that was built on PyQt5 Python and uh, uh, SQLite database for storing our data. So basically it's just the item storage. So it helps us to add item, add engineer, take item, return item, refresh and update to our uh, remote server. So basically, this is this is our client side, and also we have a connection to our server via IP, and also port numbers. So basically, the other program will be running on a, on a different computer machine where our remote database will be stored. It's just for the security reason. Uh, so let's just leave it for now. So uh, what we can see here, we have two tables, product engineers, and also for product we have some uh, search field here. We can list products by different criteria, and also we can search by employer. So let's just uh, check what we have here. So basically we have four items for now: charger, two monitors, and USB. Uh, so what we can do, we just can double click on this monitor, for example. Here we have some uh, simple image and uh, some simple information about this monitor. So what actually we can do, we can just uh, change the a number of units and click on update. Uh, also we can delete product from here and uh, so this is just some information and also deep, so we can choose, we can check if it was picked by somebody or not. So what we can do, we just can simply click here on add items and uh, let's just give it the name of monitor. Let's just add another monitor. Let's just specify Microsoft again. Uh, let's just give it different model. Uh, so just this one. Uh, the PO is just the unique ID of this uh, item. Uh, the price uh, supplier. I'm sorry. And also units. Let's just give it. Uh, uh, five. Uh, so what we can do next, uh, we can specify the date when the item was bought by our company, let's just say 20 for example. Uh, so here we can upload the photo directly from our computer uh, just by going into uh, our directory and uh, check, choosing the photo or if you don't like it or for some reason you found something on the internet so we can just simply click on this area. And from here, we can just specify any area of interest and it will be updated. If you don't like this one, so let's just click one more time and specify this one. And so it will be updated. So let's just skip it for now with a, a simple one and click on submit. Uh, so the item was created. So uh, what do we have here? We have some items. Uh, and uh, so let's just check if we have any engineers. So for now, we don't have any engineers. Uh, so basically what it means, uh, if we go to take an item, uh, we can here specify the product. Uh, so we have three products, monitors for two different companies, Asus and Microsoft. If you specify Asus, we just have one model. If you specify Microsoft, we have two different models. So we can choose between those. And also we have respective quantity. So for this model we have 20 and for this model we have only 5. So since we don't have a member, when we click on submit, we see no member, so this is correct. So let's go and add some members to our company. I just specify the name, uh, specify the position and give it some ID. So here we can also upload any picture we want. Click on submit and the, uh, the engineer was added. So let's double click on it. Here we can see some uh, card. And so this is just was the simple style. Uh, so what we can do, we can just uh, and add another engineer, uh, just a HR, AD, and click on submit. I just keep it simple for now. Uh, so what we can do, uh, now we can take some items. Uh, so let's just check this functionality, so no items was taken. Uh, let's just check our, so this is our old transaction history, so this is not correct, but we didn't just clean it. So let's just go and take some item. When we click on it, uh, here we can specify uh, the product. Let's just go to monitor. So here we have an Asus and the Microsoft and as um, I mentioned previously we have two different models and they respect respective quantities. So let's just go and take 20 and just as an HR we will take this 20 monitors and when you click on submit uh, we can see success and this item is now in red because now it's unavailable and it's picked. So basically when we click on this uh, field, 
doesn't give us anything but when we click on picked and now the new window will be pop up and so from here we can see who took this item and what amount was taken 20 and the date uh, so what we can do next uh, we can go and take uh, another item also we can take a charger I uh, just specify just uh, an amount one and click on submit okay success so we can see from here that uh, uh, two items was taken by Jess, uh, the charger and the also monitor. So uh, basically what we can do next, uh, we can query by the name of the item. Let's just say monitor, we can enter. Okay, let me check. Okay, monitor, charger. Uh, so here we can search by the name. Uh, down here we can list by all products, let's list by all products, so it will return us all products. If we choose picked, uh, it will just return us to picked uh, available, uh, so it will return uh, us all available products, but not available, it will just return us just one unavailable product. So if boss, uh, for example, ask uh, us to send him all items that we have so we simply click uh, you can click here uh, choose list and after go to file save us and uh, save it save us save it to the um, uh, excel file uh, so after you can click on save click on yes and so it will be saved to our file so we can send it directly to our boss which is very simple and uh, uh, very efficient way so here we can choose picked uh, also listed if you want we can save it uh, available or not available so let's just list it by all products so here we can specify the name of our engineer if for some reason engineer is gonna leave the company so we just want to check if there is uh, some items that is owned by this employer so we can type the name and it will return us some results so we can see that the uh, employee named Jess owns monitor and charger and the respective amount of uh, uh, monitors and chargers. So what we can do, we can go and return item, we can specify Jess, we can see that the monitor and the charger, uh, let's just choose the monitor and go and just like say 20, click submit, okay great, so still picked by Jess, uh, when we go and check again, it will just return us one charger. Uh, let's go and check for Bob. It will say, so no items were picked by Bob, which is correct. So let's just go and uh, return item from Jess. Click on submit. Okay, great. So there was no items picked by uh, anyone at the moment. So it shows none, which is also correct. When you go to transaction table, from here you can uh, see all the history of transactions. So basically this is just like was the history of the engineers and uh, their names, uh, what product they took, uh, amount, date, and if picked or returned. So this is just for uh, the tracking purpose. So we can close this for now. Uh, so we, what do we have? For, uh, what do we can do here? So uh, there is still some basic uh, uh, functionality. Uh, so what we can do? We can just uh, clear all the items, all the database. So when you specify the wrong at the at the beginning, it will give you the right login and the password. But you can type something wrong, so it will say bad user password. So basically, um, uh, the users will not be available available uh, able to delete items if they specify the wrong login password. So uh, you can set it up for, on your source code. So basically, if at the moment this is correct. So when we click on login, delete all items. When you click on yes, uh, they will be. Uh, removed from the database directly and also transaction history will be uh, cleared out so also here we have the uh, clients uh, server side so basically we can talk to the database that stores somewhere on another computer machine but this one we can uh, leave for later since we are still uh, we will be updating the code uh, to the github so you can check it at any time thank you so much for your time and i hope this was uh, helpful for you so you can check our source code our github repository that will be updated and you'll be still solving some bugs because this is not the perfect code so thank you so much and have a great day bye